have a little Corolla bear. I'm saying it's koala, by the way. Yes. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's a koala bear. Can we have some goats here, please? Okay, girls. So we've got three boxes here. Um, each box represents a different stage of our life and our dreams. L, you've got the earliest dreams in your box. Let's, Let's go. Have a look. Open it up. I think I should hand that to you because <laughs> I ain't got a clue what to do with that thing. So go on then, Ham. What have you got? Not bad. It's impressive, isn't it? How did that start, though? It's just in school, on, and it was my um, free time, really. Just went down to, to the music block and I just found it as a bit of a release from trying to catch up on all the work you do when you obviously miss school from, from playing football and yeah, just taught myself how to play the piano really. And nice. Oh. Wonder who that one is. Definitely not mine. <laughs> it's definitely <laughs> <Not> mine. <me. laughs> yeah. Team I've always supported since I was a kid and where I'm from and you know, it's something I'm really proud of actually. This one for me is pretty much where I spent my childhood. I'm really proud to come from Sheffield, so for me, there was only one team I was going to support and it was always Sheffield United. The minute I could walk, my dad had me a season ticket. <laughs> I've still got the season ticket now. It's like a huge family affair type thing and it's just something that is pretty, pretty close to my heart and probably formed my love of football. Next, paintbrush. Yeah, yeah that would be me. I did it for GCSE and, and I did one for our Euros and goal scorers and who we played and all that and so I'll uh, hopefully manage to get one done for the World Cup. I think these are you again Al, Farah and Stevie G. Oh yeah. I mean to be fair you don't have to, have to even be a scouser to love Stevie G it's growing true. up. Yeah. As a Liverpool fan was always someone I wanted to be like and play like and just an idol growing up and then obviously Farah I was fortunate enough to train with her when I was a kid at, at Everton so. These are legends of the game really. Okay, girls, now we're on to the teenage dreams box. This is where we start to dream a little bit bigger. It's definitely not mine, I don't think. I'll give you one each. Give it a whirl if you want. <laughs> Go on, Al, when did you both know you wanted to be keepers then? Always just kind of found myself gravitating towards being in goal and then went through a little phase where I wanted to be an outfielder just because it was cool. Yeah. Which actually probably helped me in terms of the way the game's grown now, but... I would always go to, to West Brom games with my with my dad when I was younger and my favourite player was Ben Foster. Oh, so nice. I was always wanting to be watching every single thing he did in goal and try and copy it in a goal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know who this is for. <laughs> nah. Can anyone sing? Definitely not me. No. no. I'm guessing this is towards like bigger, bigger picture and what you want to do after football. I know I could relate to Mike to like punditry and what I love analysing the game so I think after football I'd really enjoy to do something like that. Playing with you and stuff like your analysis of the game is your class and you invest a lot of time in looking back at clips and it's not always everyone's favourite thing to do, <laughs> certainly not mine, <laughs> um, but you're, you're very Basically good at that. I'm <laughs> so the final box is all about our dreams of the future so let's get into it. Let's see what we've got. Mm. <laughs> <A> little... <laughs> Little kangaroo. Nice. nice. Yeah. We can that. relate yeah. to the, the World Cup yeah. and where we're about to head in a short few weeks' time, eh? It's not actually somewhere I've been, so I'm super excited. To oh, go. yeah, same. Have you ever been? No, never. It's pretty cool it's that we get to list. travel, isn't yeah. it? And then finally, we have what we all dream of. I think that's the dream, though, isn't it? It's the pinnacle, yeah. I think. Last summer, obviously, winning the Euros was a dream. And to do that at home is super special. But yeah. even though we're a million miles away from home, there's nothing more that, personally, I think anybody in our squad wants more right now at this yeah. moment in time. And It's the pinnacle in every international football is to, to win the World Cup. And I think even when you're growing up as a kid, your memories of football is watching the World Cup. And every four years when it come round, I don't know about you, but I used to absolutely love it. I'd get off flags in the garden. Yeah. The flags are out. Yeah. The flags are out. parties and everything. And yeah. I hope our families can have, have a party. proper party absolutely. celebrating. I think as well, like the 2015 World Cup is obviously kind of kick-started women's football. And it was probably that point that I realised I could turn professional and do this as a career. So it wasn't actually that long ago that that happened. So I think now the reality is so much more easier and so much more clear to see that kids are going to have our names on the back of their shirts, which is crazy. 
like you have just said, oh, this is this is a dream that we can turn into a reality. Reality, girls or boys as well. Hopefully, sure. we can inspire both.